Hey, and welcome to this bonus lecture where we are simply going to experiment a little bit with an image grid in Flexbox. If you've seen my CSS grid course, you'll probably recognize this grid as I've simply cloned one of the screen costs there and changed around on things a little bit. And I actually do recommend you to create image grids in CSS grid as that is made for two dimensional layouts while Flexbox is mainly one dimensional. However, you can recreate quite a lot of cool grids in Flexbox as well. So let's just jump into it and play around with it a little bit. Here we have our images. They can also be found in the IMG folder over here. And we have the basic setup here. The container just has a display of flex. And as you can see that just lines up the images after each other and there are a bunch of them and they're way out of the flexbox container because flexbox won't allow you to wrap any of the items it'll force everything to be on the same line so let's first actually scale these images down a little bit let's give them a width of um, say 150 pixels and a height of 100 pixels now that'll change their aspect ratio a little bit, but let's not care about that because it looks kind of nice. Okay, um, now we want the images to wrap, of course. And as you remember, to do that, we, we do flex wrap, and which by default is no wrap. And we're just going to remove the no and boom. There you can see now it wraps to a nice little image grid. However, as you can see at this point they're skewed over to the left hand side so one thing we can do to make it a little bit nicer is to do justify content and set that to center that'll center it looks pretty decent we can also try these around for example that'll add some space around the images though here you can see the problem when Flexbox only can fill three items on the last row, the space around the images will be different than these, of course, resulting in this funny looking grid-ish layout here, but with a different type of grid down here. There's not an easy way to have these three images over at the left-hand side, for example, so that only the last spot here will be open. When you do space around, it'll do space around on each of the rows separately. If we did start wooden center it like it did previously now we have much more space here and here even though we have this more grid ish layout okay so what if we want these images here to be flexible in their width now we've just hard coded their width and height though what we can do instead is actually use percentages here let's do 100 percent and 100 percent and we'll also do object fit hover move this justify content and now it looks really broken just hang on a minute what we'll also do is we'll target the items themselves and we'll give them a flex value of flex grow one flex shrink one and a base width for example 150 pixels which we previously had now you can see they scale up and down and also shuffle around when needed. So here they're base width 150 pixels, but they're allowed to grow and shrink. And the images themselves just take up whatever space each of the flex item has got available. And with the object fit cover, they take up all the width and all the height and cover the entire window. And that'll result in you not seeing all of the images in a given time. So if that's important, this is not a good solution. However, if you just want most of the images to appear in the box, don't care if it's cropped a little bit, this is actually a pretty nice solution. So however, Xbox lays out as many items as it can on each of the rows, doesn't evenly distribute it throughout rows. So when it gets to this point where we have 10 images here and our 11th image, that, which is the last one down here, it'll be placed on a single row, meaning it'll be five times as wide as the others which isn't optimal. However, at these widths, it looks pretty nice. Now, we also have some big images here. I've given them class names of big here. And what I want to try out is actually do container and then target 
those big ones. And here I'll actually target the normal ones specifically, as I've given them classes of normal, as you can see here. And now they're the same. However, if we give the big ones 250 pixels in base width, you can see that that works as well. It scales up and down. However, now we've said that we want the big images to start at 250 pixels width and the normal images to start at 150 pixels width, and they are both to grow. The container has room for it. Meaning you have this pretty cool looking grid. Okay, feel free to play around with this. Perhaps adjust the values here. You can drag and drop some more images in here, maybe some vertical and horizontal images and try to adjust their flex spaces. Basically do whatever you want. So that was it. I hope you learned something. Thank you.